and is also a uh, associate, faculty associate with the Center for Social Development. In 1994, she was awarded the Rhodes Scholarship to study at the University of Oxford, where she earned a master's in comparative social research. In addition to her graduate school, Dr. Shank served as a Peace Corps volunteer in Ecuador, <laughs> working in micro enterprise development and served as executive director of Christian Community Services, a church affiliated not for profit agency that she was invited to help out in Nashville, Tennessee. So she's been all over the place. Other areas of scholarly and research uh, interests are uh, the relationship between assets, poverty, and children's well-being, public policy for families, youth employment, social and economic development, and particularly in urban communities. <coughs> Dr. Shanks is an investigator on community work with the Schooling Foundation and is a member of the Detroit Youth Employment Consortium. She designs the annual survey for youth employment and also analyzes the results and makes recommendations. Thank you and welcoming Dr. Shanks. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. And um, you know, everybody did a handout that there's one that looks kind of like this that's five points on the top. And so the very first slide is going to be those four points that look pretty short. Uh, and how do you put this little one? Okay. Wait, where was that paper? Is it in our packet? It was over here. I'll just pass it on. But does it have one? It looks like this. So I'll bring a couple of these tables, you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And so some of the cities that are growing faster and doing better, um, Boston, um, Chicago, they actually have higher levels of people educated in their community. And if that's from Detroit overall, you can see the community right north a little less, Chad and Compton a little less. Um, Yeah, Cody Rouge. Cody Rouge uh, is, a, is, a, is close to the Detroit Avenue, Georgia, is a little higher. Osborne is a little less, and Southwest is a little less. So, um, and Detroit overall isn't doing as well as the whole country is doing, and some of the neighborhoods that Skillman neighborhoods represent are doing a little less in Detroit. That means we have a lot of room for improvement in terms of, of getting more education. So, I want to stop for a second. This one is Detroit overall. And then all the communities are moved back to blue. Um, and I want to stop here for a second and just get your thoughts on what do you think is going on? So, yes. Well, I think that's, that pretty much sums it up. That's why Detroit is in the shape it's in now, because the political system, you must be in, engaged in the political system when you have knowledge. Mm -hmm. So now that's why we're in the situation we're in today, because the, the, our leaders have just basically ran roughshod in the community because they know their constituents are not educated. So they're not demanding, because I'm from Chassie County, and, this, and that's when you show me that, I know why it's so run down and they ain't putting no new businesses in there. They haven't even, you know, tried to do no economic development and they expect that, you know, things to get better. It's not going to happen that way. You know, so, you know, by the people not being educated, I pretty much see why now. Just for comparison reasons off the top of your head, do you have the state and national percentage of the population? Or do I don't have it here, but in the U.S. as a whole, it's closer to 25%. Wow. Um, and the other thing I want to say, based on kind of what you guys have talked about so far, this is as of 2000, and so the question is, do you think this is changing? Or do you think it's gonna stay this way for a while? Because uh, that, uh, this is kind of what has been, but the question is, for young people coming up today in these neighborhoods, do you think education is going to be more of a priority? And do you think there are ways we can make it more likely that people want to graduate from high school and then go on to get some sort of post-secondary education? So any thoughts on if it's changing or if it isn't changing, how it might change? Any thoughts about that from you all? Since you guys are um, living in the community and seeing kind of what's going on on the ground now? Because if... Getting more education is going to be ways to get better jobs and strengthen your communities. Do you see this changing, or is it still something that is going to be an issue for a while in our communities? Well, um, I guess with us being here today and as a community, <coughs> be aware of what's happening. And, you know, it's, I think basically it's about we have to create that in the person, you know, they have to want to get educated because it's like, you know, a drug addict, you can't make a drug addict get off drugs, a drug addict has to choose to do that for themselves, you know, any kind of, and so it's kind of like, you know, you know how to approach it because you know that, you know, people in your community need the, need the education, need the training, and I'm not talking about college, of course, per se, but 